Hello everyone, Elbridge Math here and I'm totally not trying to copy someone else's style of video making but you know, stuff happens. So let's talk about my favorite writer, H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, you know what? Let's talk about Bungo's Stray Dog first. Bungo's Stray Dogs is an anime adaptation of the manga by the same name, written by Kafka Asagiri. This anime is absolutely brilliant, yet it is one of the most underrated anime of all time. The premise is very simple, but this anime subverts the viewer's expectations all the time and creates a compelling story. You should definitely check it out. Well, if you want a comparison, it's a lot like Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Hey baby! Sonna fuante na tokoro de tatakau kika! Orite koi! But recently, thanks to YouTubers, you know, big ones like PewDiePie and Elvis the Alien, whom both I have talked about in earlier videos, JoJo's has gotten a well-deserved boost in popularity, at least within the ranks of the profane. And speaking of the profane, let's get to the subject, shall we? In this anime, there are people with special abilities, which are bizarre and most of them are based around literary works. Sounds boring, right? Well, trust me, it's not. But I don't want to spoil this amazing series, so I'm going to talk about a single character. Well, a single character who isn't an essential part of the plot. That character is H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft is straight up H.P. Lovecraft. He appears in the second season and he is, well, unique, I suppose. In Bungo Stray Dogs, some people have special abilities and they have names of literary works for these special abilities. It's kind of like My Hero Academia in a way. And H.P. Lovecraft's special ability is the Great Old Ones. His power, much like his stories, is shrouded in mystery. As an example, he is absolutely indestructible, immortal, and he can turn his body parts into tentacles. But that's not all. In episode 8 of the second season, he straight up summons Cthulhu. Oh, come on. It's unclear if he became Cthulhu or summoned him, but my guess is he uses Cthulhu like how Itachi from Naruto uses his Susano. And the weirdest part about Lovecraft is that he is absolutely bored and depressed. After I dispatch this enemy, I'm going home. He fights two of the most powerful characters at the same time, but all he does is lazily move his arms around like a sleeping man trying to squish a bug. Because of his laziness, he loses the battle, but in order to beat him, the other two had to throw a, a contained black hole into Cthulhu's mouth, which annihilates Lovecraft and Cthulhu. But three or four episodes later, Lovecraft comes back like nothing happened. What are you gonna do now? Go to sleep. Lovecraft in the anime is a character who is mainly comic relief, but he is nigh unstoppable as an example. There is this little kid who has the power to mind control anyone who hurts him. He makes Lovecraft hurt him by bumping into him. So this kid takes control over Lovecraft's mind and asks Lovecraft to Now, show me mister. Show me true madness. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I understand. Would this be true madness? And he and he turns into Cthulhu, driving that kid insane. Despite being an absolute powerhouse, Lovecraft suffers from a major problem. He feels uncomfortable in social interactions and all he wants is to sleep all the time. So if someone strikes him with a surprise attack, he just falls down and sleeps until he feels like waking up. Despite having very little similarities with the real-life HP Lovecraft, Lovecraft is an amazing character. He steals the show every time he is on screen and the writer treats him with respect and dignity. So, 
एच पी लव क्राफ्ट इज एन ओवर पावर्ड कैरेक्टर डन राइट एंड यू नो मच लाइक एवरी वन आई नीड व्यूज एंड लाइक्स एंड सब्सक्रिप्शन टू ग्रो सो वाई नॉट हिट द लाइक बटन सब्सक्राइब एंड मे बी हिट द बेल आई कॉन बटन थिंग वट एवर इट इज टू शो सम लव एंड हेल्प मी ग्रो What this speak